Hey y'all, welcome back. All right, I'm gonna pot up some of our tomatoes that we planted a couple of weeks ago. And um, I'm gonna show you possibly my favorite thing about using soil blocks. I'm also gonna show you how I pot up my tomatoes and why I do them this way. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is one of our tiny tomato plants in the soil block. The reason that I like doing it this way is that it's super easy to just pick up this block and plant it. All right, can you get that thing, that cup of dirt? I'm gonna put, I'm only gonna put about a third of this cup full of dirt. And there's a reason for that. All right, Georgia, come back over here and I'll get you another tomato. All right. Don't squish so it. So I'm not gonna squish it. We have our little block. So just set the little block right there in the middle. Don't squish the plant, don't squish the plant. It's okay. All right, all right. So now, we're just gonna put a little bit of dirt around it. Not too much dirt, because we don't want to fill the cup all the way up. Okay. There you now go. go back to <laughs> and I had to buy more commercial potting being mix. Gentle. I am being very gentle. Thank you for reminding me. Um, right. Look cute in there. It does look cute in there, doesn't it? Yeah. So Georgia, do you know why we only put a little bit of dirt and we give it lots of extra room? Okay. It will grow, and so what are we gonna do with all this extra room as it grows? Um, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> huh, want me to teach you? Yeah. Okay, so as long as you leave their leaves out, it's gonna make roots everywhere that you add the soil, where the soil uh, touches the, the stem. Oh. So if we plant it like this, and we leave lots of extra room in the cup, then as it gets taller, we can add a little bit more soil and that's gonna give us a better start. I will do this one. You're gonna do that one? Yeah. Okay. Ma, I did it without squishing it. You sure did, very good. Look. Okay, set it right in there. Perfect. So now what do we need to do? No, that's good, that's good. We need to put some dirt around it, don't we? Yeah. I have a little bit dirt. Okay. Here we go. I think you do it. You're doing a very good job. Maybe we maybe buried that one a little too deep. Oh, there we go. We just squished that soil down just a little bit around it. And I think it'll be just fine. So for those of you with kids, if you've ever wondered, how the heck do I garden with kids around? This is how you do it. It's a little bit slower. Things are a little less precise, but that's okay. They get done and the little people learn. Right there. We've had it under a fan and having it under a fan helps it get a lot stronger. There we go. And as long as you keep it under light, yeah. it's not too laggy, which yeah. means that it's a pretty good, pretty, pretty good st sturdy little plant. You want to plant that one? Yeah. Hope you don't get any dirt on you. You don't think you're going to get any dirt on you, do you? Oh, why? Why you plant? This is another reason that we just plant. We plant a few more than I think we're gonna need. These tomatoes germinated much more quickly than I thought they would. 
normally in my experience in the past it has been usually about a week and it seems like these things started popping up about four days after I planted them um, I did not use a heat mat there's nothing wrong with using a heat mat a lot of people swear by them I just don't have one and I wasn't willing to fork out the $25 to get one so what about y'all do y'all do you use a heat mat to germinate your tomatoes so the way that Georgia is planting these how she's planting them right up to the leaves that is actually just fine especially with a tomato because like I said those fuzzy stems are going to uh, bank roots wherever the dirt touches it so that's actually going to give us a good strong tomato plant and by the time we get ready to put this in the ground in another what's today February 22nd two months that's going to be a nice plant and it's going to have a, a good healthy start okay so even on these soil blocks where we have a couple of them that's not a big deal because we'll just kind of break them apart and separate them very gently just like we would do if we were growing them in cells and we're just going to start with a little bit of extra dirt in our pot Are you having fun? Yeah. You look so serious. Is this a serious thing that you're doing? No. I didn't squish it. You didn't squish it? Yeah. Oh, good. really good Georgia <laughs> Thank you. it's been a couple of days since we potted up those tomatoes and I just wanted to show you how well they are doing they go from not having any leaves once you give them a little bit of extra room and this is one of the ones that we did they will go from not having any true leaves to having tomato identifiable true leaves pretty quickly so these guys are looking great As always, if you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.